Hello. <laughs> Apologise for the delay. We're having a little bit of technical problems because of storms everywhere. Our poor mystical has been kicked out twice already. So I do apologise if we're in and out, guys, and let us know in the chat if it is a bit unbearable, okay? So can you believe we're on to show four? This is the Witchy 101 show four already, which is the shadow work. So tonight's a bit of a deep one, guys. So, yeah. So if you have been doing the homework and things up to this point, especially if you have been doing the meditations, then you are going to be at, and Kathy and Karen. at a place where you are already kind of knowing where your path's gone. Yeah, well, so let's introduce ourselves anyway first to get this before we get the show started. My name is Andrina. My friends call me Drew. My witching name is Athena. So we are a team of witches who want to help people and teach them how to go back to basics and find their spiritual self, let's say. So I have got my own channel, which is Drew's Paranormal Vlog. I do do a little bit of witchcraft over there. I also do paranormal investigating. And we do support streams and things as well as a combination of all our channels. So I'll let my beautiful sisters introduce themselves. Welcome in, ladies. Hello. I'm Sherry, also known as Willow in my witch name. I have Paranormal World Investigators, which is PWI Spiritual Investigators. I do paranormal. I am a witch and do witchcraft. Uh, again, I do spiritual stuff as well. We help do uplifting streams. And, um, yeah, I hope that you are enjoying the Witchy 101 shows so far. And thank you, everybody, for coming in. Love you all. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Um, everybody that's in so far, we got Phoenix, Iron, Kathy, Carrie, Christy. Now, on this uh, show here, I won't be talking. I won't be talking very much because I keep losing service, and I don't want to be in the middle of something and it go out. So, if you see me disappear, it's because I've lost the internet service. It's been going off and on continuously. Uh, my name is Rochelle. My channel is Mystical Love and Light. I also do paranormal investigations. I do workings. I show people how to empower themselves by showing them how to make powders and oils and different things like that for different workings and prayers and things of that nature. Um, if you are inclined to want to do something but you don't have the materials to do it, always look on my Etsy shop. You can order it through my Etsy shop or you can contact me on my videos and just let me know what it is that you are needing. So again, if I disappear, I'm not being rude. I'll just get back yeah. as soon as the internet pops back in. <laughs> We've not banished her, I promise. <laughs> Chill, you're off. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome in everybody. Oh, we have got all our amazing people here tonight. Welcome in Christy, Kerry, Kathy. Too cool for Banshee. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello. Iron Fire and Phoenix. So let us talk a bit about where you should kind of be right now. Have oh, Danny's in. You've been doing the meditation. Thank Let's you. start there. Hi, in the chat, let us know if you've been. Yeah, Banshee's new, I think. Welcome in. Pups is in the room as Most well. Most of will probably be already. Welcome in, Uncle Danny. Yeah, welcome in. Most of you already be probably meditating things as well. The reason that we wanted to ask is if, if you have connected through meditation yet is, is because you'll find that once you do the meditating and try to connect to your spirit guides and things, Sometimes things from your past will come up and you'll come out of your meditation feeling a certain way and maybe you won't pinpoint what's wrong until you go deeper into it. And it could be something traumatic that's maybe sitting there at the back of your childhood, your teenage years. For me, shadow work helped me because I was trying to go over drug addiction. I was trying to find myself. I kept jumping from one relationship to another. Um, so shadow work for me helped me to ground myself. It helped me find what was going on in my head that kept making me go down these old roads. 
when I started to meditate and started to take this spiritual path, when I realised where it was all coming from, through meditating, through just sitting really daydreaming and figuring out why different things kept happening in my life. And I don't want to blame my big brother because I love him dearly, guys, honestly. My big brother, I love him so much. And I don't want to put all this on his head because kids will be kids. But when I was younger, my big sister and my big brother kind of ganged up on me all the time. I was the youngest. So they would blame me for everything. They would do things wrong and I would get the blame. They would go do scribble on television things with crayons and they would say that they seen me do it and things. So I always got punished for things I never, ever done. And it wasn't until a few years ago that they did admit that to my mum and dad. We were sitting at Christmas, I think it was. And they thought it was funny to say, yeah, we used to do that to Brina. We used to do it. We smashed a mirror one time and they blamed me. We used to flood the toilet, the toilet roll and things and blame me. So that all came, I forgot all about it. So that had all came back in my head when I started to do it. And that was the shadow work. So I had to face that. I had to face the fact that I never ever felt good enough for anybody because my big brother used to bring me down to that size. I would maybe do my hair or something. He'd be like, why are you bother doing your hair? You're always going to be ugly. You know, and I was pregnant with my daughter and he would say, you're only going to get fat. Are you fat anyway? But I was never fat. It was just the things to hurt my feelings. So all that came out in the shadow work. So I had a conversation with him and I told him how much he hurted me and things. So he apologised for that. So, but it's that type of thing that will creep up on you and you have to do the shadow work on it. Even though I did have the conversation with my brother, I could have easily just wrote it down and burned it in my cauldron. I could have just kept going over it and finding out deeper and deeper into it, the things he said, maybe why did it hurt me so much and... And it was because I wasn't confident. So that's kind of what shadow work done for me, guys. And it will start to do th hey, iron. things like that for you. So just be careful when it does start to come up in your life. And one sister sharing mystical says a lot about, about their story with shadow work. I will go deeper into it. So sister sharing mystical about what it is and how it can help you. So that's a bit about my house shadow work helped me, guys. It'll help me find my confidence and things. So what about you, ladies? Who wants to go first? I'm let Sherry go. My internet will probably go out <clears> before <throat> then. <laughs> With me, um, my shadow work was uh, quite um, deep because I've done different forms of shadow work. Obviously, I've done shadow work through my witchcraft, but I actually went through counselling and psychology because I went through quite a traumatic life and uh, quite a lot of horrible things done. So I know like to the full scale how like deep it can get and how upsetting it can get. But at the same time, it's better to let those emotions come to light and to face those emotions than keeping them inside you because it's what holds you back. And a lot of people don't realise that your shadow self isn't, a negative thing. <coughs> your shadow self is something you really need to be in tune with to be able to be stronger in yourself so bringing that side out and and you know focusing on it and um finding where the problems occurred <coughs> obviously like people grew a lot of mine came from childhood and got growing up um having certain situations that i found myself in where yeah. um things were very difficult and very upsetting and challenging so through my psychology and that it really helped me to come to terms with um understanding myself because i didn't know who i was really i was i was very lost um very stuck um i really didn't like myself very much and i would constantly put myself down which i still have my little problems here and there but i am working on it you know but i found that shadow work really helped me to open my heart up and made me realize that i am you know i am special and i am important and you know that i am strong because i didn't think i was strong I, I, and i didn't think i was important or special until i, I faced it and uh i enjoy having my shadow self now i enjoy having that i really confide in my shadow other half and it really does bring like a strength out on you but like sister drew said 
when you're doing the meditations and when you start, if you do decide to start doing this stuff, be aware that you are going to get things that creep up on you that are not very nice. But what you've got to look at it like is that creeping up is going to help you to, to face that and to help you to bring that out and to say, okay, yes, these things happened. I went through these things, but look at me now. Look how, how far I've come now. Look at the person I've become now. And that's what this shadow self is all about. It's about making you realize who you truly are, okay? It's shadow. When people hear the word shadow, they think it's negative things, and it isn't. It's showing you both sides of yourself. If You you can't have one side and not the other. You have to have your light and your dark to be the person that you are. So for me, shadow work saved me in my opinion, just like my spirits and stuff did, you know, they really, it did really help me to accept myself and to love myself more. Um, I just wanted to be confident. I wanted to be happy in myself. I didn't want to look at myself that, I, you know, I was a waste of space. Nobody cares or loves me. And I was quite judgmental to other people as well, which is a lot of the dark shadow side. Mm -hmm. It makes you judgmental if you're not facing it. So mm -hmm. I needed to to bring that, not judgmental that I was nasty to people, but if I see a trait in them that was in me, I'd hate it because I didn't. I felt that they shined better than me because I couldn't see that yeah. I shined. So yeah. it really helped me to realise that and see it in a different way. So yeah. I definitely think that, you know, if you guys have got things to face and to get by, shadow work is most definitely something to work in. You can do it on your own. Or you can have people come and sit with you and help you to do it. You know, not everybody likes to do it on their own, but we are here. And um, mm. take a look at it, guys. Do the meditation as well. Definitely do the meditation because the meditation will help you to tune in. it help you to maybe bring that up a little bit as well and uh, be able to face it. Definitely, Kathy. For me, Kathy said, for me, working on those parts of myself that I have hidden helped me understand why I react to some things yeah. in a certain way. Definitely, yeah. Kathy, and we will get into that more once we hear mystical side of what I'm because it's amazing what shadow work really is. Little people, as Sister said, think it's that thing that looms at you wanting to make you do wrong in the world, and it really isn't that. It isn't. So I'm glad that you found that, because it's, it's helpful to find things like that about yourself. So, do you want to tell a bit about shadow work? Are you a mystical? Um, yeah, okay, so I'm different than uh, Drew and Sherry. I've never done shadow work. I've um, I've never felt that I needed to do shadow work. Now, I'm not going against what they say because what they're trying to explain is why you need it, you know, the reasons why they did it. For me, I'm kind of like the opposite. Um, when I was in school, I was always like the smallest person in every single grade that I was in. So I was always very confident in myself. I was very mean as in taking up for myself and never put up with anybody doing me wrong or trying to fight with me. Since I'm half white and half Hispanic, which on the Hispanic side is the Aztec side, if I was hanging with the kids that were white per se, then the other Mexican side would want to come fight would want to come fight me. And the opposite way, if I was mm. with hanging out with them that day, then all the whites would want to come. But I never let that in a fear because I was always the type that if somebody come up to me and all they had to do was just touch me, I would lay them out. I was little, but I was mean. I was very confident in myself because the way that I was raised was my father was old school he was like if you get into a fight in school and i find out that you didn't win i will beat your butt when you get home so 
I always yes. I always he said he would say I don't care if you pick up a two by four and hit them you better not lose a fight because yeah he knew very well you know that in school you know that I would be picked on and all this because I was so small was so tiny but I never let that bother me if I saw kids being picked on I would take up for them you know i would go beat up the person that was picking on them they could be three times the right. size of me but i didn't care because i always felt like i was a leader and i always had people look up to me since i was very confident in myself so all through life you mm -hmm. know that's what i did from the time that i could start taking karate and learning all of the all of the deadly forms. My uncle got me into all of that because my uncle was in a class. Is there anything you're having issues with your webinars? Was there anything emotional ever came up for you though? I mean, that's okay being tough and fighting and um, things because I was like that, you know, but I mean like more on the emotional side. Was there ever anything that you kind of always shut down your emotions, wouldn't deal with it? Because that's no. more of what the shadow self brings out. Right. It's that yeah. part no, of you that see, you just won't deal why, with. Yeah, I think that's why I never really needed or did the shadow work because I never felt that something was bothering me that I need to do that you know in hindsight so i never needed it right. a lot of people do and in the spiritual world right. you know the, what we're in how we do things you hear a lot of people talking about their shadow work which is great i've just personally never needed yeah. to do that so i'm kind of on the opposite side of where you two are coming from on this on this show today hey Curtis and and everybody else that's coming in lunar so yeah I'll, I'll, since i don't have a lot to add into the shadow work part i'm yeah. mostly gonna be listening to you know what you all are are needing to you know say or what y'all had to do but emotionally no that yeah. really affected me that i felt that i needed to <clears throat> see the thing about shadow work is that that it's Maybe. that part of you that always you, you always feel as if you have to live to an expectation as well there's always something there in me that i feel as if i'm not good enough for that i'll never reach the level of anybody else and that is me having to fight that shadow self of my of my emotions i have to always say i am good enough to do that i'm good enough to go as high as somebody else uh, am I good enough to push out what I want to do in life? My and my emotions are just as important as the next person's emotions. But when Sister Sherry and I done shadow work the last time we done these these teachings, the, the both of us knew that that it was going to come up and in, into the craft because a lot of people walk away. A lot of people can't handle that confrontation of your emotions so when i was going through it i had also to realize that a lot of the emotion a lot of the things that's happened to me in my life i brought on myself so i had to kind of come to terms with that i knew that the minute i took a drink and things that there would be trouble so sometimes i would go determine like to have a drink so that i could cause trouble things like that and i had to admit that to myself that Probably 99% of the time I got in trouble through alcohol was my own fault because I knew what I was doing. So things like that, if there's anything comes up with you, try and figure out where does that come from? Why do you do that? And I realised that yeah. I'd done that as a coping mechanism. Before anybody could hurt my feelings, I was just going to go hurt theirs, you know? So yeah. it's just yeah. one of those things. But... If you remember the last time, I actually asked you, asked you a question, and this covered a lot. What do you advise your child self? If there was something you could say to yourself as a kid, what would it be? And mine was my answer to that question, what do you advise your child self? Mine was 
to n always know that I'm good enough to do anything I wanted to do, that I am as good as my as, as good as the person beside me. So ask yourselves that type of question, and I do believe Sister Sherry's got more questions as well. And ask yourself, what do you feel about your childhood? And when you start asking yourself, I mean, things like this, you can either do it in a recorder, write it down. And when you start going into that, it's amazing where you find all your problems in life. A lot of them will be your parents, a lot of them will be people at school, teachers and things. But so ask yourself a lot of those questions. And if you could question Sister Sherry you talked about. Yeah, no, like all of mine's on a list because obviously I've wrote stuff out again. Okay, but um there's yeah. a lot of questions where you're asking you're asking yourself where your problems came from. Where did it stem from? Where do you remember first feeling that emotion and that um that that feeling that made you feel that you weren't important or confident or that moment when you felt bullied it could be anything you've got to look with shadow work you've got to look back to where the source started and a lot of it does like sister drew said it comes from childhood okay, okay. um even though when we're little we don't really realize it as we grow up we kind of realize that a lot of that was either okay. bullying or it was directing things at you and like sister drew said as well um even recognizing where you went wrong as well things that you stepped out of line with and maybe you didn't act in the right way like for instance for me i would look at other people and get really angry at other people if i had my traits and i didn't need to be like that because they were i was no less than them and they were no less than me we were yeah. equal but at that time i couldn't see that so it's not like sis said it's not all about is it everybody else's problem? There are problems that we accumulated within ourselves as well that we've got to face and, and realise as well. So the thing is, I've got loads, there's loads, I've got like over 27 questions that you could ask yourself, all going through it, okay? And it goes from, yeah. you know... Um, so you could maybe do a little video for them, yeah? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to do a follow-on video because it's got a lot, what I've got, and what I've been researching through, I've got a lot of information explaining what the shadow work is, what it's meant to do for you, why it's important. And it's got questions that you can ask yourself and actually do to help you to do your shadow work. It, it even gives you information on how to start your shadow work. If you're wanting to do that solo or you're wanting to do that with a professional or maybe with a friend. I've got a structure for it. Yeah. So I'll yeah. keep that video, but there, there's know. a structure to it, guys. I mean, there, if you, how to explain this? If you feel there's three selves, okay? There's your lower self, and there's your middle self, and then there's your higher self, and then accumulation of that is your your shadow self is the one that you fight against. So let me read this out to you, okay? The lower self. The order of our feelings come from three selves based on our emotions. The lower self is where our emotions come from. Feeling heavy around the, the feet and legs can mean we need grounded, giving our emotions back to Mother Earth and letting go. The inner self is the middle self, basically. The middle self is, a, is based on our emotions intellect and emotion so meaning it's where our upper and lower self meet conjure up the action we then take in some ways i feel the middle self can do the most damage we need to constantly keep track the, the higher self the higher self is where we come to to understand and deal with all the other emotions it's the place where we deal with and process emotions and figure out the way to send it up to the ethers and to the government to the gods but there's also the shadow self which i find the page where i wrote there the shadow self right so your shadow self the shadow self is the inner you or experiences you never addressed or faced and have helped you back even if you didn't know at the time 
and has come back or will come back and affect your life and your magical life, even tarot and paranormal investigating, as you have to deal with the inner and outer emotions and demons, such as drug addiction, stealing, bullying, facing the bullies, being the bully, being okay with your stability and being happy, being just the person that you are and not letting your self-doubt creep in. All the negative emotions stop you from being the best person, a witch, a mum, etc. You can be keep addressing the things with positivity and harmony, I've put there, honest, honesty, I think it is. So the, the, the way that you live your life as well can also help you with your mental health and your shadow work. So going back to last week's teaching or the week before, when I, when I said to you to live your life a certain way. So if you live your life in a certain way where you're always doing your meditations, you're getting up every day and you're trying to push out as much blessings as you can. You're trying to stay positive around every single aspect in your life. Then most of the time you'll find that your, your shadow work and things won't creep up on you until you meditate. So trying the hardest to live a life of being positive and things and living the way you want to live and as somebody said in the chat and being honest about things and your shadow self shouldn't creep up on you as long as you're always dealing with things as they come up in life don't hold them back we were always told that my mum and dad always fought and argued hey, with his kids so on friday night they would have a big argument and a fight so the Saturday morning we would get up and we weren't to talk about it, we weren't to tell anybody. And then it would happen again the Saturday night and then we would get up on the Sunday. So basically they had a full weekend of just being drunk and abusing each other. But we weren't allowed to talk about it, we weren't allowed to talk about it to each other, we weren't allowed to talk about it to them or anybody. So we grew up always pushing down our feelings. So that's why I think when I had my spiritual experience at 40, that all these emotions came flooding back on me about how I had never felt good enough, how I had always just went day by day, never expecting any better in life, never learning how to drive, never getting a job, never really doing anything except for drinking and being what I wanted to be, really. So try your hardest to live being positive and a lot of the shadow self stuff shouldn't affect you as hard as it did me. What do you just want to add, ladies? Well, this, oh, go ahead, Go on, Mystical. Go on. Oh, I was just going to say, I think that's the reason why I've never needed to because I've always been uh, lucky. And now I use the word lucky as in I've always been blessed because I always had my parents backing me up. I never really got into anything like that since I've always been a lot to myself. I've always had myself bubbled. I didn't go to like big parties. Uh, I didn't go to like weddings or, or funerals or baby showers or any of this because I kept myself away from majority of the people because of the, the way that I am being an empath. I pick everything up. So I think that helped me a lot not having to deal with that. I, you know, I, all through yeah. school, I stayed away from all of that. So I never got into drugs. I I never smoked anything, you know, weeds, nothing like that. Um, I didn't do anything like that because I stayed away from the crowds. And I think that's the reason why I yeah. never really regretted anything. When I got married, when I met my late husband um, at the age of... 18 um we were married for 34 years so he always pushed me saying you can do whatever you put your mind to he always backed me up you know he passed then right. i uh got married to lee and lee's the same way he backs me up so i've always been bubbled i've always been blessed so i never really had run into that kind of dealings or, or feelings that i had to yeah. do that so when I listen to you and but Sherry, see that shows you then that having that support, yeah, yes, shows yes. you though. Yes, exactly, exactly. Sorry, Sherry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, sis. See, for like for me, um. So what about 
Is it school then? I've just put just a quick question to mystical at school. So at school then you had like the two crowds wanting fighting against you, so you had to basically stick up for yourself because you felt in the middle. Well, see, and the thing was is I always felt like the only reason they did that and I felt like I had to take up was not only taking up for me, but taking up for the group that I was with. You know, don't put them down. You know, I'm with them. Don't put them down. Or right. the other way around. Don't pick on them because with me being there, I was going to take up for them. It was Right. So it, you feel it. Then, then, okay. So, yeah. 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 So it wasn't two-faced like, you know, oh, I'm with them and then I'll talk to them. Some you, people could be the star. No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, so. I would so you try to sort it out between them. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Good. That's good. Sorry, Sharon. When you go, sis. I think with me, it, a lot of my stuff come up because I didn't have that support network. I didn't have, like, my mum and my dad wouldn't come to my school meetings or do anything like that. They were never at my sports days, never at anything like that. I didn't go out drinking or doing anything like that. I was always at home looking after the kids. I had a lot of responsibility and uh, I was never appreciated for it. And they always they just always made my life really difficult, really, really made my life difficult. And um, I always made, I was always made to feel like I was stupid because I had a learning difficulty. They would always just talk down to me like I was stupid and things. So that's how I felt I was. But obviously I'm not, and I know that now. Yeah. I'm very bright. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when, you're, when you have that and you don't yeah. have somebody saying, it doesn't matter what you're like, it doesn't matter if you can't read or write properly, it doesn't matter if you can't do this or do that, you're still special, you're still clever. But I didn't have that, okay? And uh, I, yeah. I I was always the one that was backing up and looking after other people. But when it comes to me being needed to be looked after, it was never there, okay? So, yeah. And even in my relationships, I've not had relationships where guys have like prompted me to be what I want to be. It's always been beat me down or do horrible things yeah. to me. So it's been a constant fight yeah, in my life. Too. It's only since I've met Rudy that I've finally met a guy that does love everything about me and I feel more confident. And obviously because I've gone through life and I've gone through all of this shadow work and I've gone through everything that, I've had to go through that it's made me that more confident it's made me see how important I am and that for all those years I, you know I was really stupid to put myself down the way I did and do the things I did to myself I used to self-harm I used to do loads of stuff to myself because I felt so worthless okay so going through that shadow work really opened me up to make me see that and like Sherry you, you're so much more than what you think you are you know, and that's what, the, what what keeps me going. And like everyone goes, oh, yeah. you don't want your shadow side to creep up. The thing is, is, your shadow side should be out with you. It's not a negative thing, okay? The problem is in life is too many people bury everything they're going through. You have to they always do it. Makes you sick. It makes you see the world in a completely different Look, way. Brother. You need your shadow self. Yeah. You need that to be strong and to keep going. Do you know what I mean? So. Definitely, you know. it's it's always going to come up. It's, it's about dealing with things head on, every emotion, good and bad as well. If you find that you're having a, a really good time somewhere, you also can, can say, well, that, well, I had a good time because I was with Sister Sherry that day. And keep that, and then the next time that you feel that you need that you need a little bit of an uplift, you go spend time with that person because you remember. Remember that when you're around them, they make you feel good. So that is like the opposite of shadow work as well. It's like yeah. always stick around those people that make you feel your worth. They make you feel as if you can push yourself to the next level. Because I never had that either as a kid. I was always just there, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I was never encouraged, never pushed on. So yeah, shadow always, work can be always push down. anything to anybody. It can be not being confident going out to work. Just yeah. always put down, always put down. Even when I had like ideas and things I wanted to do when I leave school, they were like, Oh, no, 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 you're not, you know, you're not bright enough. You can't do that. And the thing is, Sherry, you are so knowledgeable. Just yeah. from I know. the time that I've known you, 
They're yeah. extremely knowledgeable and just like and just you, like the sweetest person. I'm getting tearful now because it does still <laughs> it does still choke me up. I do still get tearful. You can see it. It does still hurt. Of course, it because yeah. no yeah. one should go through life feeling it's because like because we were never no. told no. that. As like a kid, you were, we were never told. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't have to go for that. You shouldn't have yeah. to be, be, sit there and. I suppose and I always thought it was somebody else's mm -hmm. job. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. always felt it was somebody else's job. That happiness, this big happiness, would come along eventually, and it never ever came, guys. I always just lived day by day, never having a job, never driving. I always expected somebody else to bring me my happiness. I never ever reached out for it myself. Until I had that that's, breakdown. And, that's how I was, sis. And I think that's why that's, I got into well, some of the relationships so it's I got important into. For, for you as well. The love and, and the companion that you should feel from your parents at home. Because I didn't get that. I strived for that in my partners. But my partners weren't the partners they should be. They were, they were bullies and beat me up and all sorts of things. Because I wasn't learned any different. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. for me... I, it's mm -hmm. like you, sis. You know, it was difficult. We didn't realise that we would search for that, that security, that love, that feeling appreciated and needed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because we See, never and had I it. I was on the other side of having the complete. And then when I did get in a relationship, it was an abusive one. That's what I'm saying. It was abusive. Yeah. It wasn't the people you think it was. Like I'm not saying that my mum and dad didn't do things. Of course they did. They bought me yeah. Christmas, birthday presents, stuff like that. But when the support that a child needs growing up. Well, yeah, yeah. That wasn't there. And the child growing up is the most important and vital time of their life for their confidence and what they're going to be as a person. Now, luckily for me, because I've had energies and things around me that have always shown me what I am, I, 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 am a I am a very strong person. But I've always yeah. put myself down. Like Sister Mystical said, Sherry, you're very acknowledgeable. You're very clever. I get, I, 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 I didn't yeah. believe that for years. I didn't believe that for years. I wouldn't even speak. I wouldn't even speak or do anything. I've been, I know. You know. I used to get embarrassed when people gave me a compliment. Yeah. I wouldn't know what yeah. to do. I used to think they were coming well, after something. You. Like, what are you and after? Why are you really saying awkward. that to me? Like, did I mean, not after anything? Yeah, what do you want? Be advice to you. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh. But it's about facing all that. And realizing that you are good enough and things. It's, I don't know, it's how to explain it. But it's a good process as well, guys. It's not all doom and gloom because you no, do it's not. actually, it's not. in your meditation, if you ask to face your shadow self, it, you can remember such good things about your own personality as well. You give yourself credit for that. Such as we're saying, we've never felt good enough. I remember I was good at art. So I need to pat myself on the back for that. It was the only, um, what do you call it, the, the test, that the, there was the only exam I ever passed was my art exam and my camera exam, the photography. So I did my A-levels and that, that was that. So I need, for all that's all it was, I still have to pat myself on the back for achieving that. So it's about giving yeah. yourself the appreciation when you deserve it and facing the things that you don't, really want to face but if you face them you feel a whole different world open up yeah you do and, 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 and do. that's how i learn about things so meditation myself. how many of these are meditating right now like i, I learned that about myself but i also learned that about other people just let them put this question in chat like I, I learned a lot about my mum yeah. doing my my shadow work because my mum my mum grew up in care okay and she went through quite a, a traumatic life so where before i used to really really be angry at my mum now i do realize like now i don't look at it that way i look at it that you know maybe she wasn't the way she was because of the way she was treated as a kid you know what i mean so i try to look at it different i try not to blame her for how i feel because yeah. she's not been through a good thing either you know what i mean even though she wasn't nice yeah. at times and stuff like until you really get into it and you realise, and then you're like, hang on a minute, yeah, maybe she was You can like understand that it now. No, you can understand it a lot better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Hi, Bexas. Yeah, Hello, Helen Brown. Well. 
And Kim, we've got another new person in the room, Helen Brown. Yeah, that's my real big sister, guys. Oh, oh that's your sister, sister, is it? Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> Drew's sister. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, it's my big sister, yeah. I was telling them about how you and Alec only admitted a couple of years ago that it was you that used to scribble on the televisions and things and blame me. I was telling them about how that affected me growing up and that's kind of your shadow work is facing that emotion, the emotion of feeling helpless because my mum and dad would never believe me in things and I'm like, it wasn't me, <laughs> you know. If you're facing all that does you good. It does you to a place where you realise, wait a wee minute, I'm stronger now for those experiences, if you like. You know? In the process of shadow work, how do or do you all deal with guilt, if you have any, by just facing it, bringing it up, realising where the guilt comes from and um, how it stemmed and accepting it and saying, you know, and saying that you're sorry for what happened and accepting that, you know, you was part of that, okay? You have to accept yourself as well. It's yeah. not ev always everybody else. You've got to realise yeah, that you're some of that as well. So the guilt would be, I know that yeah. I done wrong. I know that I was that way. I'm sorry. I want to, I want to change. I want to, to understand this. It's accepting it and facing it. That's exactly what it is. It's the, see, that's, that's ex yeah. exactly the right question to ask, you Kara. Because if you're feeling guilty about something, then that is what's going to hold you back. Yep. You've got Whatever to it is, go back. Sit with our notepad after your meditation. Find out, write down what it was, why, why it happened. Find the reason for it behind, the reason behind what happened, who started it. And it's really just dealing with that full process in your mind. And then if you need to have a conversation with somebody, but you don't really want to have the conversation, write it down and burn it in a cauldron yeah. or your sink. Yeah. But if the person yeah. you, you think to is open to really. talking about it, talk to them. You don't have to yeah. say it to them. You can just say it to yourself. But, no. But accept it. And, yeah. and you know. And but that's exactly what you have to do. You well. give yourself. Let's talk out of here. You do need to forgive yourself. That is like the big key. You need to face it first. Let it let it come up. Face it. Go, okay, I know that I've done wrong. I know that this happened. I want to change that. I'm sorry. And just say, I want to forgive myself. And, and forgive yourself, okay? Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does things that maybe they, sh they feel they shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes. It's learning to forgive that. Everyone does, okay? That's the biggest yeah. part of it. We're only human. We're only human. And then it's about not repeating it as well. But find the reason that you reacted like that and why you feel yeah. guilty. And then the yeah. positive side of that is putting it into your head, right, okay, I am never going to react like that again. If I'm put in that situation again, I'm going to totally deal with it different. I'm going to take myself mm -hmm. out of the situation. I'm not going to respond Whatever it was, and that's you giving yourself a solution to the problem that maybe you should have done away back then, but you're dealing with it now. And that insight to changing it the way that you would have, yeah, and forgiving yourself for it, but realising where you should, what way you should have dealt with it is the way to move on and say sorry and then draw a line under it and really truly forgive yourself. And don't let it creep back in your head. If it creeps back in your head after you've done your shadow work on it, you've got to say, I'm not dealing with that. I said my sorry, and totally push it out your head. It's not being selfish. It's realising that you've done your diligence for it, if you like. You've done your time for whatever sin you feel you've committed. And totally move on, and you'll feel better, trust me. Very oh, yeah. good advice. And ask any questions. <coughs> Sparkle, shut up. Very good advice. Oh, let me like I said, everybody, you, everybody makes has problems and struggles. Okay, everybody makes what mistakes. Okay, it's yeah. it's having the it's having that yeah. ability to be able to see that and go, you know, yes, yeah, 
you know, I stepped out of line. I done wrong there, but you know, I've learned now, and I I want to forgive myself. And like Sister Drew said, it is important. You don't want to hold on to things like that because that's when your head's going to start getting messed up again, and things, you know. So you can. There's always going to be a ways around that as well. Yeah. Meditations, relaxations, going out to places you like, just putting positive things into your life to keep you in a positive place as well. Really, definitely. Helps. Yeah. But you said Nelly on your show, <laughs> she doesn't know how to work her phone yet. That's okay, big sis. I don't, I've not even on my phone yet. My texts are always my Do you want to know what, guys? We, as human beings, we always are the first person. Exactly, we're only human. <clears throat> you're always going to feel sorry. If you're somebody that's spiritual like all of us are, you're always going to hurt a wee bit more than somebody else if you're the one that's done wrong. But you can't let that affect your fool. I had to admit what I'd done. I told my mum and dad what I used to do. For the three months that I stayed with them, I was really desperate because I wanted Barry to have a roof over his head as well. So I let him sleep in my bedroom for like three months and my mum and dad didn't even know he was there. So I had to end up admitting that to my mum and dad because I felt so guilty about it. For years I felt guilty about it. So see, just telling them that, it really did free me. You know, it freed me from knowing that I told them of something that was weighing really heavy on me. And you'll find things like that the minute you start to do your meditations. In your meditation, ask for those little things that hold you back in life. Say, say, to, say, before you go into your meditation, say, Goddess, guides, ancestors, can you please show me where in life I've been going wrong? Let me see my mistakes. Let me feel my mistakes so I can correct them. And when you're in a meditation and you'll start to feel that old guilt thing coming back, embrace it. Yeah. And Don't then when out. you come out your meditation, that's when you turn to your books and write it all down. And go back over that emotion and see where you went wrong. And guys, it'll be so freeing for you. It'll be hard if there is things in your past that's been quite traumatic. But it's really worth it, honestly. And we're all here for you if you need us. I do understand that sometimes, like, if there are some of you that are going to be facing certain factors and stuff that may have happened to you, there may be certain people in your life that are not there anymore or people that you can't speak to because of what they physically have done to you. I have that situation, okay? But you can still put yourself at rest for that by just saying, I acknowledge what they've done to me. I know what they've done to me was wrong, but I want to forgive. I want to forget. I want to move on, you know? And, you, it, 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 you know, you could sit there, put your cauldron on and do it one day... You know, sometimes this work can take weeks, months, even if you have to fire that cauldron up for weeks on end, doing the same thing. In the end, it's going to come out and you're going to get that outcome that you want. But you've got to really believe in what you're doing. You can't just go in there half-hearted. You have to be fully connected to it to be able to understand it. Okay, so don't be scared of it. It's there to build you. It's there to make you strong. Yeah. So, um, the, th the thing is, if you all want to be spiritual, if you are taking these classes, what the where is it? There is there. Yeah, that. I nearly ended. I nearly my life. ended my life because of my sister Lachlan. Wow. I've See, it's things like that. Well. It's the, the before you get to that stage. You know, it's so crazy, guys. And finding your spiritual, it's not an easy path. It's something that usually happens, like me, through something traumatic has happened to you. Like Eli, Eli died and went to the other side. But it's that trauma, it's about facing that trauma so that you have got the ability to move on in life with things that you want spiritual things that you need as well like you need to feel love you need to feel that you're worthy of things 
it's not it's not just about the finding the right partner, the right job and things. It's about really, really feeling happy in life, feeling that you're worthy of happiness as well. For years and years, I didn't know that happiness wasn't a reward, if you like. <laughs> you know, I felt as if happiness was something I was going to achieve in life, whereas really happiness is what you should feel every day, which is abundance, you know. To be honest, has any of you got anything that's cropped up in life that you're thinking about doing? With? I've gone through the, I've, I've gone through the Doris, same thing. You go. I've gone through the same thing. Okay, I, I I tried committing suicide quite a few times, and mm -hmm. my start and belief in myself, obviously, yeah, the shadow work, but my start and belief in myself was when a spirit stepped in and saved me as well. And that's when I realised as well that I was important. That life was a value, yeah. and um, I am grateful that it done that. You know, yes. Phoenix is saying some shadow work will make you cry. I recommend it will. just let it go and cry. You will feel better afterwards. Forgive and let yeah. it go. I agree. Yeah. What is it Luna saying? If you feel it in your stomach that you need to do this, then it's the biggest sign that you need to get it out and either tell them your story and talk to them as a forgiveness from them. It's to help you move on in life, guys. That's what it is. Even if the person isn't here anymore, act as if you are talking to them in a mirror or something even. It'll be so freeing for you. And then that way you're ready to do your, your, you're ready to start finding your data, start finding your spirit animals, start doing your spell work and your candles. So doing this shadow work is important so that you can move on into the, the, the rest of it, if you like, so that there's nothing going to creep up on you. Because if you're trying to do a spell one day and then all of a sudden in your head, you, you this is going to creep up, you're not good enough. I told you you're not good enough. You don't want that to creep up in you in the middle of doing a spell a candle or something. So you have to deal with all that beforehand. In this this video that I'm going to do, like the follow-on to this, I've still got the other two videos to do yet, um, but the follow-on video to this, in what I've got and what I've researched, it has actually got bits in there that helps you to recognise if you need to do shadow work. It tells you these questions and stuff like that and it'll make you realize oh my god yeah maybe i do need to do some shadow work maybe i do need to reflect and look and, and sort myself out you know and a lot of people i'm not being um, there's most people in this world need some form of shadow work apart from sister mystical because she was just like um the fighting queen when she was younger so she didn't have any of that problem but you know there well, are a lot, had of, a lot of support there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. See, I but think she had a good backup system. system. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Yeah, of yeah I like had a good backup. All of you would probably benefit a little bit from shadow work. You know, some of you it won't be very deep. Some of for some of you it will be, but it helps. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It'll be interesting. You're very welcome, sweetheart. For I did like you. Guys. Remember, Sparkle ask yourself a couple of quick Sparkle, stop it. Come here. All right, son. Yeah. Do we see what she's saying? I can relate, but she only the spirit that came to me was my mom and sister Sherry Drew and Uncle Danny saved my life. That's something I'm working through. See, everybody's doing it, guys. And that's why I said to you okay. earlier, like you might you might feel like you don't want to do it on your own and you don't want to go to a professional. Talk and maybe ask somebody that has gone through shadow work or knows how it is to face it and sort it out, like Sister Drew, like me. You could come and talk to us. Okay, we could help you. We can't say that we can change everything, but we can give you advice and guide you. And if there's something you don't quite understand, we can help you through that. There's a lot of information and knowledge. So if you can't feel you can't do it on your own, you've got people to support you. You have.
I'm sorry that exactly, you went through that. Exactly, guys. See, my big sister's been through a lot in life, guys. She took fits and things as a kid. Uh, and then when she was about 17, she didn't walk until she was five. And then when she was 17, she had a bad car accident as well. It also affected her walking. She is now, what age are you now? 54. And she's only just gave up and went into a wheelchair because her walking's so bad. But we're going to get her back strong again, aren't we, Nelly? And you'll be out the wheelchair. So I was given my big sister, Uncle Danny's story. We all know Uncle Danny's story, such as he was in a wheelchair and he is now out of his wheelchair because of wanting to do his strong man and push himself on in life. So right now my big sister is kind of at the opposite of that. So I'm going to... She doesn't really know technology so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... On our YouTube channel, I'm going to give her the Uncle Danny's uh, Danny Wolf channel, and you can see the inspiration that he has as for us all, and maybe it'll help Nelly. So, oh, is there yeah. any questions you also want to know about oh, yeah. shadow work? Is there anything that's still niggling in your head, Kevin, guys? I've got loads of trauma, up, trauma, but I have also got fibromyalgia, which I I think years of trauma bottled up has had some factor in my bad health. Yes, and trauma and things like that can cause effects on your body. I'm not saying that you doing shadow work means your illnesses and stuff are going to go away, but maybe it's going to be more manageable for you. It's going to be more, you're going to understand it more. Okay? Like, I have an illness. I have a lumbar spondylosis, mm. okay? It affects me 24-7, seven, seven days a week. But it doesn't take the pain away, but it helps you to be more focused. It makes you feel more in tune. So things that oh, normally is. like upset you, down you, doesn't affect you as much. Hey, Christopher. Because you're in control and because you've got understanding now. So for you, Kerry, I think, it, you know, maybe shadow work would really help you. I'm glad see. you made it, Christopher. Yes. Anytime you it bottle up stress trauma anything like that it's going to affect your health big time it is, yeah. so it's with all you your all, points. Like with shadow work helps get rid of a lot of that but like sherry said it, it, if you've gone too far along it will ease it up but not take it away but the yeah sooner like for instance you fibromyalgia better, she'll never get rid of that she'll never get up rid of fibromyalgia just like i'll never get rid of my lumbar spondylosis but you will learn to to deal with it and it won't be as prominent and in your face as it is now mm -hmm. because you're holding all that pain and stuff at the minute your body's feeling that because you're constantly tense that's how you got to think of it your body's tense because you're constantly fighting all of this pain this anger this upset this confusion you're not letting any of this go so the more you're holding that in the more it's building and building and building so your illness feels worse everything feels worse when you're not in a good place okay so working on that makes it a lot more easier to deal with yes mm -hmm. see not that it's silly am i really quite quite educated and the I meditation you the medit I was you're, just you're quite sensible yes yeah <laughs> yeah well that meditation from the last session helps a lot really the a thing is guys stress yeah do the meditation and just even see now i laugh at my shadow self when i think when i think to myself you're not good enough you can't help anybody then i always just think of those people that have always said to me thank you for helping me drew that really really helped that oil and things i now counteract that negative thought with a positive one from somebody and you've learned to do that do it mere meditations face your shadow self and replace that thought with something really positive because now i tell myself i am good enough i am going to help people with my oils and my pouches and things you know so it's about counteracting it and getting as i we said before everything is balanced so that negative thought balance it with a good one you know and then you'll be ready Ready to do all the things that you want to do, such as the candle work and the feeling the colours and things. You'll have a clear emotion to feel that, you know. What about ego and shadow work? Ego is different. I think you need to have a little bit of ego. 
not too big an ego though. For somebody like me and Sherry, a little bit of ego is good because we've never had that before. So a little bit of an ego is okay. Maybe too much of an ego is a little bit not good. <laughs> Luna, remember, Luna used to be coming to the chat when Nelly used to stay here. Nelly used to stay with us, remember? She went back round the road about two years ago, I think, Nelly went home. So, you get any more questions before we let Mystical go? Because my little, my sister is frozen, I think. <laughs> hey, I, I have this one here keeping me warm. <laughs> Yeah, ego likes to be <laughs> okay to have if it's only a little bit. If it's just a little bit of ego, just to make you feel confident, and that is fine. But if you're using ego to the point that you're putting other people down, then no. Yeah, you know I mean, like, definitely not. You don't use yeah. ego to hurt other people. You can use ego in a form to make you feel confident, oh, no, you're make not. you feel comfortable. <laughs> you know, yeah. especially if you've had like a life where it's not been where you've not been lifted or anything, a bit of ego really does feist you up, makes you like, yeah, you know, but don't do it in a negative way. See, my sister will confirm this, guys. She's on the chat. Mm -hmm. Nelly, we weren't, we weren't, it wasn't as if we, that we had food on the table. Um, we, but my mum and dad didn't really tell us that they loved us. They didn't push us to do better. The more, my mum more told us, that we couldn't do better, that she just wanted to keep us close. She didn't want us to get hurt in the world, if you like. So she never, ever told us to go find your dreams. She never, ever told us to go do what we wanted to do and encourage us or anything. We missed out on that, a lot of that. That's uh, and how more my so, was. I was Helen, because she she was never encouraged. Yeah. Nelly was told to, she was to go out, she was to stay in the house and things because my mum was so scared something would happen to her. You know, so that cocooning is really damaging to a lot of people. Hello, Sister Christina. Nice to see you. Will you sleep in? You're a bit late. It weren't quite the same with me and my mum. Like, with my mum, it, the, the reason I was always kept in is because she always wanted to be out and doing things that she wanted to be doing. And she and because I was the eldest, I could be there and, you yeah. know, take that load off. So it was always me left with the load. I had four <laughs> siblings that didn't know how to behave yeah and you know and i'm a 13 14 year old girl having to juggle 40 uh, four siblings as well as cooking cleaning doing everything that my mum should have been doing you know what i mean like it was a bit different God. and you know, i never got that my mum never used to really sit there and say i love you or <laughs> i'm proud of you or uh, never she hasn't hmm. you know that's sad though sorry i forgot you were yeah. back at work christina like now now that she's getting older and because obviously i'm there and i'm the, like what matter may like i'm there i'm the one that picks her up and looks after her she's very ill now i'm the one that looks after her okay despite everything i've gone through okay i look after her make sure she's okay and whatever yeah, yeah. now she'll tell me what she loves me when i'm going she'll give me a kiss on the cheek yeah she will but where was that when i was little where was all of that when I was yeah. growing up? Where I needed it, yeah. You know, where was you when I needed you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, because it it affects you as you get older in life. Yeah, yeah. and do you find if you bring it up, there's arguments? I don't bring it up to my mum because yeah. my mum because we sort can't of her to turn around yeah. and say you're we being can't even mention anything you blame, about the past. Why you my mother or she was. It weren't my fault. Yeah. It was your fault. Well, no, it wasn't my fault. It was your fault for not showing your love yeah. and things like that. You know, that's what we she get. would go off her head. Yeah. Tell me that I'm ungrateful, whatever, and get out and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Thank you. We're coming in, Curtis. So, have you read into John? Yeah, definitely need to read more in it. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to. So, I think you've all got a, a good perspective on what shadow work is, okay? I think you've all understand that. And this is more for the people that will watch this back rather than the people that's in chat just now. 
you should have a good reason you should have a good acknowledgement of what shadow work is by now shadow work will be that thing that creeps up on you and tells you you're no good but also it can also be the thing that walks beside you and reminds you of that you are good enough so find the balance in it so Mind as going me. forward in the next week's classes we want you yeah we want you to really meditate really try and find <laughs> the good shadow side of yourself and the bad side so write my it down shadow guys self and try and remember you only my shadow self does human <laughs> <laughs> that's called uncle danny with me <laughs> yeah that's uncle, yeah pups as well yeah definitely <laughs> Sorry, if i did yeah. that <laughs> Oh dear, yeah. <laughs> I'll try. I oh, maybe shouldn't have put my leg. I can't even get up. My hip yeah. looks like it's gonna snap. Yeah, yeah. I ain't doing. I ain't doing that. I'll be limping out of this thing. prayer room. I'm already limping. That's why I kind of put it down quick. I was like, "Ouch!" Why did I do that? Oh, that is what it's it up the ass. It does. It's like Sherry not going down the throat anymore. No. <coughs> uh, Benji, Benji has a. Yeah, it says, Mystical, I keep eggshells <laughs> for my house. Do you Mystical, think I they keep work? eggshells yes. for my house. Oh, yeah, eggshells yeah. work. Yes. Eggshells. I oh, yeah, have definitely. a whole yeah. container yeah. up there of eggshells that I keep. These so, need to grind a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, my, I have I've got eggshells as well, but this isn't my house. Yeah, <laughs> a whole deal. Plus, I have some down here that I still are working on. And they work really good because if you look at them per, as protection, the eggs, what do the eggs do? They protect the yolk that's inside or they protect the baby that's growing inside. That's what they do. So if you use them for the it's intent, just, yeah. intent of protection, they work tremendously. They even they work do. for fertility workings also in yeah. case you, you know, go in there. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, they work. Or I wouldn't spend <laughs> hours on this powder. So is there anything you want to add, sisters? Yes, you just special. remember you're all special. You've all got a shadow self. So, your shadow self is not evil. Your shadow self yes, is reminding guys. you of your importance and your love within you. Okay, your shadow self cares about you. Thank you. Okay, Lily. so. Don't yeah. be scared to face it. Yes, there may be difficulty and, and uh, upset, but once you've faced that, you will feel so much more happier and the load will feel like it's lifted off your shoulders. Believe me. Good. You will. <clears throat> and yeah. do the meditation. And it is important if you want to stay on the spiritual path. And remember, you always have to do shadow work. I'm going to be doing another meditation so um, just, video Sunday. Tune it in. Yeah. Okay. Next week, I feel as if we should maybe catch up on some of the homework that the guys have been doing. As the, the ladies have been sharing in the chat, guys, I have now made a WhatsApp group up. And it is for the homework and things that we've set you over the last couple of weeks. It's also a place for you all to come in and ask us questions, communicate with us. It isn't the main clan group that all our sisters are in. Maybe through time, some of you will get added to that clan group. But as for now, it's a place for us all just to communicate, ask questions, and get to know each other a little bit better, let's see. Yeah. So next week, we want to maybe start off with a meditation sister Sherry will you be home the next week uh not sure but I can do a meditation anyway see I was thinking, I've got thinking I've got this is, if we do a, med a live meditation next week and in that way all the people that can... right so I'll do that even if I've not gone home, I'll still because do then the meditation. Because then we would be on hand for any questions topic. that anybody wants to ask us. Maybe I don't I think next week should be any topic. I just think it should right. be us catching up on the homework yeah. stuff and maybe mm -hmm. like doing like the meditation, having a bit of a breather. And if yeah. anybody's got any questions from what we've covered. Yeah, yeah. Like, as well. yeah, we can yeah. answer it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Benji, definitely. I subscribed to yeah. you. I didn't know that I wasn't subscribed to so you. So next week, we will take you. questions. Good, Kim, sweetheart. That's good that you're mm -hmm. going through some shadow work and you're learning. Good, Banshee. Um, yeah, that's really good, sweetheart. But know that you've got us here as well if you need to talk to anyone. We do understand, Kim. We've been there, so sweetheart. So just come to us if you need us. You know. Bloody dog. I'm learning to yeah, love myself more. Oh, good. Love yourself. You're very special. Kim. You're very special, Kim. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, you are all special and you are all worth it as well. You are worth the happiness that life has you to offer. Everybody's worth being happy, including you, Nelly Brown. Each and every one of you in this chat, including us on this panel, Wonderful. we're all special. Mm -hmm. And yeah. everyone can empower themselves very to welcome, do Banshee. what they're wanting very to do. Welcome. If you want to do something, do it. You have the power within yourself to do it. You have. It's in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. That's what I've been told my whole life. You want to do something, do it. And exactly, it. reach for the stars, guys. See, that's what yeah. I do with the kids. I try and let the kids know that they can do anything. Yeah, they can be anything they want to be. You know, I try and push that. Oh, into, how sweet! I used oh, to do it to Kim. Kim. Yes, it's it's like, Sherry, oh, sis, yeah. always finding you all is one of the you know best something? things. We get as much me. joy oh, as you guys. All right, Cam. Finding you guys was the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. It, it works was both ways. Yeah. yeah, it's a rotating, it's a rotating door. Exactly. And that's a what team. we're here for to try to get you all to They're understand all a team. your can't capabilities do it to each do other. things. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. I am exactly. Yeah, I mean, because a meaningful life, life exactly. is I mean, a happy some life. People, I mean, mean that's what I was about to say. A meaningful else. life will bring a happy life because yeah, it's yeah. things that you're in, you're enjoying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you will get a happy yeah. happiness out of that. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah. Feeling contented as well. I think that feeling of contented in life is important. Look. Like, the feeling that you know that there's nothing really out there that you you are lacking if you like you know mm -hmm. oh yeah right okay ladies i'm gonna end it there if you've got nothing else you want to say or anything because so i just, do know just that tune on to my season. channel next week to to my channel next week thing. witchy 101 next week it'll be on my channel so next week isn't a session we're just going to be talking taking any questions, and I'm going to put that but talking about the homeworks, 